Roger Gallegos here, founder and owner of Beacon Marketing. I hope you guys are having a great uh, day today. This week, I wanted to discuss uh, uh, finding your best customers in marketing terms that's uh, defining your target audience. Uh, this is one of the biggest um, and most important things you could do in terms of creating a marketing strategy. It's one of the first things I do after understanding what the business is trying to sell, understand their unique value proposition, I immediately try to determine who they are selling it to because this determines pretty much everything else. Once you understand the target audience, you're able to understand where they get the information, which informs which platforms you go on. Is it YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, email marketing, even uh, traditional methods like email marketing. Um, Standard mail marketing um, or TV ads or radio ads could also be considered based on the target audience. And once you understand the platforms, then you understand the types of content, whether it's videos, uh, infographics, uh, emails, uh, blog posts, those type of things are all informed by the target audience. So if you just jump in and start creating content or going down a strategy where you're unsure of who you're speaking to, you could waste a lot of time, money, and effort and end up with no results, or at least not the results that you need to be successful. So defining your target audience is a huge part of what you need to do. Um, I'll give you a, a recent example of myself. I know this sometimes even as a marketer, you have to learn lessons. I had my audience in mind, but I kept it too broad. So I purchased them ads recently on, on LinkedIn and while I got eyeballs to my ads and got them to where I wanted to go, I didn't narrow it down small enough. I still had too broad of an audience. So it was, they saw it and they heard it, but it wasn't for them. At least it wasn't speaking to them in a way that made them want to act definitively and say, I'm going to contact this person. So in essence, I became easy to ignore. And that's the other thing. If you don't define your audience, you become easy to ignore. I... Uh, a good analogy in my mind is like if you were to go to a Starbucks and all they served were the same size coffees, only like three three types of uh, variations, like it was cappuccino, latte, and macchiatos, and they just called cappuccino, and no one knew who it was for. They didn't take names. That's real easy to ignore because you don't know if it's your cappuccino or somebody else's, so you just eventually ignore it. And that's in, that's in essence what happens when you don't define your target audience. You're just shouting into the wind and you become easy to ignore. So you do not want to be easy to ignore. So now that I hopefully established the importance of defining your target audience, let's, uh, let's discuss how you can uh, set the parameters for defining that audience. Um, the first thing, and I mentioned this beforehand, is... This state your UVP. Now, it is important to understand this. Your UVP or unique value proposition is the value that you offer to your clients. It's not the service or the product. It's the value that service or product uh, provides. So you can also think of it as uh, the core benefit. So you want to determine what that is because that's going to become important later down the road when you're, when you're dividing, uh, providing your content. Um, you always want to, then you want to look at your current client base. Who, who is buying your products now? Who's buy, who's hiring you for your services? And look towards them and, and possibly even do surveys. They're a great source of information because they can help you determine what services or products are working for them, which ones need some improvement, and actually show you, give you ideas on how you can um, maybe a target a new uh, more profitable client um, or target audience. Also, look at your competition. See, look at your competitors and, and understand what they're doing. And maybe you'll get ideas on what to avoid, maybe things you can emulate. Um, there are There's a great source of information there and ideas and inspiration. Um, the next two things, that I'm going to mention separately, but they kind of go together. It's, it's how to define who the person is and how they think. So it's outline your demographics. This is age, gender, um, nationality, ethnicity, and all those things are important because it helps you create a framework for who they are. 
and then how they think you want to think about how the the psychographics what makes them tick like what are the attitudes towards things what how do they feel what are they how do they react to certain things all these things play together those things the demographics and psychographics go hand in hand so you want to understand how those things play off of each other um the next thing the last thing here is talk to your frontline employees talk to the people who are interacting with your current audience right now talk to them and see what do they like what works with them what elicits a smile what what makes maybe irritates them because you want to make sure you highlight those things or do more of those things that make them smile and stay away from the things that um, possibly anger or irritate your target audience. You don't, you definitely do not want to do that. Um, and so here are some quick benefits of de defining your target audience. First and foremost, you narrow your audience down. So instead of doing the mistake that I did recently where I spoke and I had this big, broad audience and I was, like I said, screaming into the wind or into the void and nobody was hearing because it was easy to ignore, you want to narrow your focus to a very select group of people so when you're talking to them they're like you're actually speaking or to them or at least they think they are and they they are more prone to contact you and along those lines you are able to segment your audience so you sit there and say i'm going to target this group for this service i'm going to target this group for this product and this is how i'm going to talk to them um you over you get an overall effective messaging because as i said just a couple seconds ago you are talking sp specifically to them so they're going to feel more prone to engage with you in whatever way you define, whether that's filling out a contact form, sending out a comment, filling out a review, whatever you wish to do, they're more inclined because you're speaking directly to them. And that creates a deeper connection because they feel you understand them. They feel that you are, of all your competitors, wherever they can go, you're the one that understands them. You're the one that really, quote unquote, gets them. And... Because you do that, you stand out from the competition. And that is a huge thing. When you stand out from your competitors, that's the goal right there. Because then you are one step ahead of them. You're a step above. You are the better option. That is really what it's all about in marketing. You want to let your customers know that you are the best option. And the best way to do that is by understanding who they are. So uh, that's it for, uh, for uh, this week's video is talking about finding your target audience. And if you need help, as always, please let me know. I'm here to help you in whatever way I can. Beacon's here to help you grow your business. That is our mission. That is why we are in business. That's why we started this, is to help you grow your business to go from where it's at now to where you want to be in the future and beyond, so to speak. So again, Roger Gallegos, founder and owner of Beacon Marketing. Contact information is in the YouTube bio, so feel free to shoot me an email and um, be happy to talk to you. Thank you guys. Have a great one.